Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about AutoSync with Watchtower in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, let's just have a quick look at uh, Watchtower. It's on the uh, knightsoftheeditingtable.com and you can see their page here. It's uh, just for $25. There's some tips and tutorials and that's what we're going to be using. So Watchtower is something known as an extension in Premiere Pro. So it, it's a real running plugin that's in the extension menu. What it does is it keeps an eye on your local files on your computer. And when you add new files to that location, they get updated inside Premiere Pro. So there's no limit to however many you have running. It's a per project sync, um, but it's just the greatest way to keep the stuff on your hard drive in sync with what you have inside Premiere Pro. Let's get it started. All right, in the window menu, your extensions after you install it will be here. Choose Watch Tower. Let's just go to the uh, preferences settings. So enable auto sync, that's on by default. You can show import options. Now it's off by default and that's if you just want to use the default import options for whatever you normally bring in, don't show them, but you can turn that on. Um, you can also have it show notifications. So every time it's successful or not, it will tell you. And you can make these buttons vertical or not. And you can share anonymous user usage data. And this just helps um, Ivan over at Knights of the uh, Editing table uh, get things going much better. These are all the file extensions that it understands and you can add your own. You can remove them out of here, but it notices a lot of things. It will also flatten, automatically flatten camera file folders. So you're just looking at the, the clips themselves. It's also going to bring in an image sequence as one clip. This is really powerful. If you do any kind of motion graphics out of After Effects, a lot of times people will export them out, not as a video, but as a bunch of still frames. And you don't want to have 10 or 20 or 5,000 uh, imported images, you want a video and it will do that automatically. And then there's the license where you can transfer that license. So the first one, as I mentioned, is the uh, manual update. The next one is what you would do for each project. So when I click on this, I tell Watchtower what folders to sync. And I've set up a demo project to sync with it. All right, so this is my video project here. And this is the standard part of the interface. And there's also an advanced part. When I click on the advanced part, it's going to automatically recognize that the folder I have called spin sequence is actually a bunch of uh, still images as a image sequence. So it knows what that is right away. If I twirl down the video tab, you'll notice that there are four different um, folders in this folder. And I'm going to open up my Bcam. And now you'll see it's it's recognized that as a, uh, a camera card folder, and it's going to flatten that folder for it. Then there's also relative path uh, on the right hand side. And this is good for templates. So auto sync is on by default. I just told it what folders to bring in. When I click OK, it's going to bring in all these um, elements. Click OK. Now it's going to work, importing all the files. It's going to give me an update. This is the notification in the bottom right when it is succeeded. There are 63 files, six subfolders, audio graphics, private images. Um, all of those things are in here. So if I open this up now, you can see all of that stuff was brought in automatically. And it keeps the folder structure perfectly with everything. So that's nice. Now, what I also want to show you is when we go to the on location, we see two clips in here. On my desktop, you can see there's the same folder structure that I've got. There's the audio folders and files, the graphics. There's the images, image sequence. You can see that's made up of 48 separate files. There's my uh, C100 camera, interview, on location, stock. So here's, I'm going to add in two more clips into this folder. And I'll do that from another location completely. So watch over here on the left-hand side. Once I drag those in, 
it updates and they show up and they're in the right folder. If I wanted to, I could change this and it's still going to work. So it knows the structure of those and it knows that Premiere Pro um, can have a different folder name here than it is on the desktop, but it gives you the best of both worlds where you can have that automatically update. Now you can't delete things uh, from the desktop, they'll just be deleted out of there, but I can delete uh, things out of here and when I re-import them back, they're gonna show up. So it understands that very easily. Watchtower also works in Adobe After Effects. So if we go to the extensions and call up Watchtower, you can see it shows up here, same thing, uh, manual sync. There's where we set up our folders. There is one difference in After Effects where you can tell it how to import your uh, files as regular footage, a comp, a comp with re retaining um, layer sizes. and. Again, there's all of the, ex the extensions that we work with, but what's important is that in After Effects, uh, sometimes you want to import things just as footage or as a comp, or as a comp with retaining layer sizes. So you've got all of your bases covered. So I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go to uh, find out more about Watchtower, and uh, you can also communicate there with Ivan, who's the developer, and uh, let him know what you think, and uh, try it out, and see what you think. I think this is powerful. He's got kudos from a lot of great professionals who are working on this that count on on um, working with Watchtower. It's, it's really powerful and it gives a gives us in Premiere Pro something that we've never had, but we always wished we could have it. And the ironic thing is that new users just expect Premiere Pro should work like this automatically. And it doesn't, but it does now when you add Watchtower. All right, so thanks to Ivan for this wonderful, amazing technology that he's making available. Um, again, uh, check him out on the links and I'll put some social media links in there so you can talk to him and ask him some questions. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us more, you can do that through PayPal. We've got wonderful PayPal supporters. There's a link in the description of this video and on the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep my ears open and find out all the cool things that you can add to Premiere Pro to make it work even better.